Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Sir Izzuddin and I'm Yif. And today we'll be demonstrating experiment entitled Capacitor in AC Sector. Alright, so before you actually proceed with this experiment, okay, make sure to actually get to know your objective. So your objective is as given in your lab manual. So from here you can see that you have your first objective and your second objective. So for the first objective, it is to measure the impedance of the capacitor as a function of frequency and capacitance. And for the second objective would be? The second objective is to determine the capacitance of the capacitor. Okay, so now, now that you've gotten to know the objective, the next thing you need to know is the apparatus and materials that you'll be using for this um, experiment. Okay. So there are several apparatus here. The first one is differential amplifier. The, and, and then the next one is digital function generator, oscilloscope, connection box, resistors, capacitor, BNC, and finally connecting port. Now that I've gotten to know all the apparatus and materials in this uh, experiment, go directly to your table. So from here, we can see that you have your capacitor, resistor, and frequency. So there are three parameters. Though it is recommended for you to draw another one here, which is your XC, which represents for the impedance. Capacitive impedance. Capacitive impedance. So from here, you know that your capacitor and your resistor is your manipulated variable. So by manipulating these two, you're supposed to get a corresponding frequency. So Sir Isudin will show you how to actually do this one. So. Um, the first part is to have a capacitor of 1 microfarad. Take note that this is not given in terms of millifarad, however it should be in 1 microfarad. And the resist resistor that you need would be 50 ohm. So Isudin, if you would. Alright. Okay, so now here, the, the capacitor here has the capacitance of 2.2 microfarad. But what we need here is the one with 1 microfarad. So we plug it out here. Make sure to just plug out the capacitor, not all the other connectors. Okay. And then connect it back to the same place. So it doesn't matter which one is positive, which one is negative, because all these capacitors are non-polar. And then the next one is the resistor, which is 50 ohm. Okay. So it is shown here, 50 ohm. So we will connect it back here. So now this is the de desired circuit. And then the next one here is to is to measure the frequency here. So the frequency here is as shown in the di di digital function generator. So to set up the frequency, first uh, press the button frequency. And then there are two settings here. First is by turning the knob to change the value. And then using the cursor to change the DJ. So we will change the frequency in such a way that the amplitude of both waves are the same. So we will change here uh, about this size. Okay. So as you can see from the oscilloscope, both of the amplitudes are almost the same. You can also look at the value down here. Okay? So once you have the stabilized reading, quick stop and take the reading for the frequency here. So the frequency here is shown here is 3.196 kilohertz. So drop down 3.196 kilohertz in this table. Right? Thank you, Sir Isudin. So, as Sir Isudin has taught you, all you have to do is change your capacitor, change your resistor. So, what Sir Isudin has taught you is, by changing this capacitor and changing the resistor, you will have to adjust the frequency using the digital function generator once you've already changed these two. So, by changing the digital function generator frequency until you see both the red and the yellow overlaps, sorry, not overlap, more likely the amplitude is the same, then from there, you can see that your V peak for the red one and for the yellow one is almost equivalently the same. Then from there, you can actually stop it until you're satisfied with the result. 
and take what is the frequency which is given as 3.196 kilohertz. Okay, so that is just a rephrase of what um, what Sir Isuni has told you. So what you have to do next is without changing your capacitor, change it to 100 ohm and change it to 200 ohm respectively, and find the frequency. Remember how do you determine the frequency? It is by changing your digital function generator. And by changing a digital function generator, once these two have almost the same amplitude and check that the VP is almost the same result. Take note that there are errors in this point where, remember, if you don't stop it, now if I were to actually touch the connecting ports, note that there is some noise to it. So this noise will actually affect your result. See that? So make sure that once you're already satisfied with your result, do not touch any of the components here and then press stop. Okay? So once you press stop, this will make sure to freeze whatever result that you have in your digital oscilloscope. Okay? Moving on to the second part and the third part, repeat the same thing. Now repeat the same thing just by changing the capacitor and the resistor. So once you already finish this part, you can actually go back to your objective one where you're supposed to calculate your capacitive impedance, where this one will be explained further by Sir Izudin. Alright. After you have filled in all the values of frequency, you are supposed to fill in capacitive impedance. Capacitive impedance refers to the resistance caused by capacitor in AC circuit. So the capac capacitive impedance has the unit ohm. Okay. So we will calculate XC using equation 4, where XC equals to 1 over 2 pi FC. F here refers to the frequency we measured just now. And C here refers to the capacitance that we plug in. So, your result should be good if the value of XC is almost the same as the value of resistor. Alright, thank you Sir Isudin. Now that you finish on your objective 1, moving on to the objective 2. Take note, for objective 2, there are no experimentation needed. All you have to do is refer back to the first objective result. So for the first, second objective, what you're supposed to do is actually using equation 1 here. Using equation 1, you're supposed to find whether you manage to get back your capacitor, which is your 1 microfarad and 2.8 microfarad and for your 4.7 microfarad. So from there, you're supposed to actually compare your theoretical and the actual capacitor that you have used in the first objective. So from there, take for example, in the first part, the one that you use is 1 microfarad. And from your calculation using equation 1, you manage to get 0 0.9 microfarad. So 0 0.9 microfarad, you have to do your theoretical and experimental. And from there, you can actually calculate the percentage of error as well. Remember, how do you get the calculated a theoretical value of your capaci capacitance is actually by using equation number one. Once you already have the value, compare it with your original one and then get your percentage error. Okay, so that, that is all from us. Thank you. Thank you.